Let's look at what is a liability. So again, the IFRS definition for liability is uh, a liability is a present obligation of the entity to transfer economic resource as a result of past events. So the important points being it's a present obligation. It's something that is due now and it arose as a result of a past event. So the event arising in uh, an obligation was a past event and the liability is due now so it cannot be any future events that have not taken place yet that have not happened yet we cannot consider them as liability yet although in future we may need to record them as liability so let's take a look at examples um here are majority of the examples that you will see for liabilities the first one being accounts payable which is kind of the opposite of accounts receivable uh, in accounts payable these are the amounts that are due to be paid by the company to its vendors or suppliers so if the vendor or supplier has offered credit to the company to make payments the company purchased something from the vendor and the vendor has allowed them some time to pay the amount then this is recorded as accounts payable for the period that the amount is not settled accrued liabilities are recorded in accordance with the accrual concept and we will go through the accounting principles accounting concepts in a future video but this represents expenses that have incurred but we have not received invoices or bills yet so a good accounting practice is to record those expenses in the period for example if uh, the company has used electricity for the month of january and the bill has not been received at the end of january and the company is closing the period of january they will record an accrued electricity expense so there will be a debit to expense and credit to accrued liabilities in, a, in anticipation that the bill will be received in future, but the service, which is electricity, has already been received. The same applies for accrued salaries and wages. So a company may be paying its employees every 30 days uh, or every month. could also be paying every week or every two weeks. Uh, but at the end of the month, if there are uh, wages or salaries that have incurred so the employees have already done the work but because the pay cycle is not there yet uh, the company has not paid let's say uh, at the end of january january 31st there is 10 days worth of salary that has not been paid although work has been done and those 10 days will be paid let's say on the 4th of feb let's say uh, the company is paying in two weeks time so there is this 10 days that need to be accrued for the month of January to truly reflect the cost of salaries and wages in the month of January. Similarly, any taxes payable to authorities are a liability. Uh, long-term debt, uh, long-term loans that the company have, uh, any current portion of the long-term debt. So you know how if the company acquires a loan, there is a payment schedule. So it could be that every month the company has to pay off some amount every quarter. Uh, that portion becomes current usually the amount of uh, debt that has to be paid within the next 12 months is considered as current so that is also a liability then we have deferred revenue this is the amount received from customers in advance but the service that the company needs to provide has not been provided yet so it is considered as def deferred revenue because the company needs to settle this through providing the service or product that it promised and similarly, bank overdrafts, any overdraft money facility received from bank is a liability because it needs to be settled. And again, any short-term de debts similar to long-term debts are considered liabilities. So if you look at the balance sheet of Nike again, uh, now we are looking at the liabilities and the equity section. So here you can see the top section uh, shows all the liabilities that the company had uh, for the year ended May 31st, 2022 with the respective amounts shown in dollars.